simplify 5 over 9z cubed plus 1 over 15z squared. So here you have to add two fractions, and we know when we add fractions we have to, well they have to have the same denominator. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the lowest common denominator for both of these uh, expressions. And so to do that, I'm going to break them up into their prime factors. So 9z cubed can be broken up into 3 times 3 times z cubed. 15z squared can be broken up into 3 times 5 times z squared. And what we have to do is find the highest power of each item. So you can see for 3, the highest power is, there's two threes, 3 squared. So we're going to include 3 squared in our lowest common denominator. 5 is only 1, 5, so let's include a 5. And for z, the highest power is z cubed, so we're going to have a z cubed. And so if we combine all these, our lowest common denominator is 45z cubed. So for this, for this expression, I want to make this 45z cubed. So I'm going to notice it's missing from here to here. It's missing a 5, and that's about it. So I'm going to multiply both numerator and denominator by 5. And when I do that, the denominator will become 45z cubed. Our numerator will become 25, 5 times 5. Now for the second expression, notice what's it, it's missing. It's missing a 3, so we have to multiply it by 3. And it's missing a z. So we have to, for the second fraction, we're going to multiply numerator and denominator by 3z. So then our denominator, if you multiply it together, will be 45z cubed. And our numerator will be 3z. And so now we have this. When they have the same denominator, we can just simply add the numerators together. So we have 25 plus 3z over 45z cubed, and that's our final answer.